This is a Game Caviar production. Bro, not happening in the Game Caviar Studios. Look what I'm playing. I'm playing some Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. It was on my Xbox, and I started playing Bioshock 2, and then I was like, eh, I don't really want to make a video about this. So I went ahead and looked through all the games that I have, and Modern Warfare 3 stuck out. And played it in actually a few weeks. I started playing it again. Uh, I got thoroughly fed up with Black Ops 2. Which, if you can remember, back before Black Ops 2 came out, I stopped playing Modern Warfare 3 like maybe a month, a month and a half before Black Ops 2 came out. So, uh, with me being so sick and tired of Black Ops 2 already, it's not really a good look for that game. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 definitely had more a, a, a longer lifespan in my life if, when it first came out, the first year of its release. So this is Team Defender. Between this and Hardpoint, I'm really surprised that Treyarch didn't put Team Defender in Black Ops 2. I like Team Defender. I also like Big Butts, I cannot lie. I like, if they have the next game that comes out, whatever it's called, it's supposed to be like Ghost or some dumb shit. If they put Team Defender and Hardpoint in the game, that would make me happy. One thing that I said that I'm not going to do with the next Call of Duty. I will not be pre-ordering it. I will not be going to a midnight release at GameStop. I will not buy that game until at least a month after it's been released. Probably more than that. And the reason behind that is I'm done doing the old... Maybe this time it'll be good dance with Call of Duty. I did it with Modern Warfare 3. I did it with Black Ops 2. And I enjoyed Black Ops. I enjoyed the first Black Ops. To be honest with you, I enjoyed the first Black Ops. And that's more, most of the reason why it was so easy for me to walk away from Modern Warfare 3. I was like, look, Treyarch did such a good job with Black Ops, the first Black Ops, and it wasn't perfect. It was by far, it, it was far from being perfect. But I was like, they did such a great job with Black Ops, and they know the type of issues that, that people were complaining about. There's no way in the world they would screw up Black Ops 2. I've never been proven so wrong before in my life. I mean, the game is so bad that it's, I just, I, I get kind of angry thinking about playing it. Like, I don't want to play that game anymore. Now, I'm not saying that I would never play that game again. I'm not saying that. Because at times, it will play great. But for the most part, it's a, it's a bullshit game. It's, it's just unplayable. Treyarch really screwed us all by making that game. Now, Infinity Ward is up again. And now they have the rumors of the, the new features that are supposedly going to be in Black Eye. I mean, uh, the next Call of Duty. Whatever. Uh, like, if when you go lay down and prone, you can, like, roll from side to side. And that... Instead of dolphin diving, you like get down on your knees and slide and you can shoot people like that. I don't give a shit about that. That's all stupid to me, man. The only thing that I want to see in Call of Duty is dedicated servers. I don't want to see none of this stupid roll around on the ground dumb shit. I mean, that's shit that I did when I was in elementary school. Why would I care about that now? Of course, that would be more of a... a I guess that's their way of adding some realism into the video game. But you know what? There are bigger problems in, in Call of Duty besides realism. You know? If they come out and say, look, all right, we're getting rid of quick scoping and we got dedicated servers. Those are like two big steps in the right direction. I doubt if they're gonna do that though. Honestly, I don't see that they're gonna I don't see them doing that. Maybe they will. I have been proven wrong on Call of Duty before. Maybe I will this time. Fingers crossed for all you diehard Call of Duty fans out there. Who always get the game no matter what. I, I was I was a diehard Call of Duty fan for a little while. But then I was smart enough to see the bullshit that we were getting. Like this right here. Watch this. Watch this. What is that? What is that? How was that even allowed in a video game? That's why I'm not fucking with Call of Duty. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.